What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity rover shot. This was taken by the rover on October 10th. Today is October 12th, and it has been downloaded. I've been getting emails today about these new pictures. you got to go check out the new soul. got to check out the new soul. I've been getting this sent to me. Uh, I've got this Mars image thing on my phone. It's an awesome app. Basically, you can download all the rover pictures. Sometimes you can get them before they even show up here on the... Uh, on the actual thing like before they actually get up on the website and JPL is doing this website so you you're getting them not you know NASA's not in control of this one this is JPL they still have funding and they are still up and uh just a lot of people have been sending me like I said this morning things I just want to show you some of the cool things right now but and I'll show you how to get this picture some of the circles that are looking to be coming out there's a perfect circle here there looks to be like a perfect uh, bowl half shape um and all sorts of little uh interesting type rocks up here where you've got um, seems to be split like kind of like a crown see how this kind of has like a crown here it's got one two three coming off then it almost has like a, a, a body here well let's check this out here let's make this big um, this is actually looks like there's something here this looks like a, a perfect sphere in the middle and then on the sides you've got one two three four pillars surrounding it and then a long cannon type thing and it actually is sitting on a ridge with somebody here pointing that way too. It almost looks like this was uh, maybe before a bunch of CO2 creeped in and, and just locked the place down. Maybe this was the site of a war. Maybe they're fighting something along these lines. Maybe these people over here. Ooh, who knows? Um, if you like, if you're new to my channel, if you've never seen one of my videos, come check out some of my older videos. You'll learn a little bit about me and how what I do here. I see what I see, you see what you see. I just go over these pictures, bring up some of the anomalies, um, especially on some of these new ones like this, uh, because really we're we're all discovering this at the same time right now. We're not. Uh, you, know, you go download it, you'll find some stuff. You can maybe tell me. You could tell somebody else. I mean, it's one of those things we could just pass this thing around, and eventually all the new things. It, are going to be, uh, I mean, scrutinized so well by by us now. I mean, when these things come out, I was getting this. People were telling me to come check out this picture. You know, hour after it came out, you know, ten minutes after it came out, Dr. Long had emailed me and said, "Hey, we finally got some new stuff that came down. Um, stuff like this. It looks like it's a uh, totally two different materials, maybe, but something that had a shell around it, and uh, it looks like a shell has come forward, maybe like a compartment exposing this back piece. And this is this is a leap here, granted, but it's. F I see what I see. You see what you see. Um, and like I said, some people are going to come here. They do it all the time. They just see nothing but rubble here. They don't see the uh, the wonderful, beautiful junk aspect that I see of Mars. The uh, life as on other planet type thing maybe this was a junkyard <laughs> old junkyard jake that's what my buddy terry on here says from uh from france you know just like old old uncle jake's junkyard here and we've got a uh, triangle looking piece here next to this circle strange looking circle next to this and let's do this let me show you how to get it because i do this with all of them um where where are you here you are oh there we are. That's it right there. I just backed that a little bit. That's the image right there, the raw image. As always, check below. So this thing's so fresh, nobody's even liked it on Facebook or anything. Fresh off the boat. And now let's take a look up to it, the back part of it, and I will let you guys go. Do some of this for yourself. And uh, let's do the one thing I love doing with these Mars pictures first, because there's also some stuff down here we want to look at real fast. I like hitting, in Photoshop, the auto color. Because what it does to me is it goes out and it finds anything in there that shouldn't be their color and it balances it up. So um, basically it's going to go looking for stuff that it can pull off and make the picture clearer or make it more vibrant on your thing. And immediately, almost every time I do this, it, it takes off that veil of oranginess that they put on. Let me see. There it is. And now there's a... Do you see what I mean? How look the sky all of a sudden turns to an almost recognizable color for us? Um back up in here these this area almost looks like it could be surrounded with maybe some water um, here looks like there could be Nessie back there looking at us look at that we got Nessie oh my now let me go ahead and let me darken up that top ridge real fast this I had done this in a rock nest video because I think we're working with some of the same area here in the background but it is changing so the rover is making its way Oop, let me get it off that uh, which is good to see the rover's making its way we're, we're on progress we're moving it's not going up the road I wanted it to over there there's a road access road it looks just like an access road you can see it in the pictures bridge I've got 
bridge to mount sharp videos have done it um, let me see what we can do here if we can do the auto tone back there no but what we'll do is we're going to do it with the exposure we'll give it some gamma See what we get as we pull it up. Let's just contrast the offset there. Look how much. All right, that's pretty cool. Now let's zoom in on that. See what we had come up with now. Now that we've changed the colors a little bit, there's our Nessie here. Tech these things do to kind of look. These look like perfect rocks, but they look like they've been cut. Um, this has a little bit of JPEG artifact in it, maybe, possibly, but if not, we're looking at some interesting uh, carvings on the side here as it gets closer to what looks like water. Here you've got this, uh, almost what looks to be something that's walked into place. See how it's it's got some sort of, uh, almost like a trail behind it to get to here? Um, it looks almost like some sort of vehicle or something with a, a long... Like I said, it's probably just a rock, but um, I'm looking at it in terms of what could el what else could this be. And we're in the distance here pretty far. And what could it be with this interesting stuff here in the front? See how we've got... Let me make this big for everybody to see here. Look at the circles inside these circles, circle, circle, circle. Just very interesting area here. It's got that what looks to be Nessie, <laughs> the, uh, the, the monster here of... Um, you know of Mars and it says take up here too I can in some of the other videos I said that some of the stuff looks like it was actual uh, architecture that's on the side of this mountain it doesn't look just like uh, see up here we got one two one two three platforms and they, the platforms look to be equally spaced perfectly um, up here you've got something that almost comes to a to a perfect triangle now on this side, check. The, I mean, on this side here where you've got this, it also has a face on this side. Just very interesting. If you can notice that or see it, say that would be the eyeballs. It's looking this way. Here'd be the nose, kind of looking that way, smelling that way. And here'd be the mouth, like me, just talking all the time. Um, somebody had put in here, "Don't talk so much in your videos," and I am not going to be able to do that. I am so sorry. <laughs> if you don't want to hear me talk, you have come to the wrong channel, boy. I. Uh, I love some of the comments sometimes. It's, I'm getting used to uh, dealing with the, uh, oh, you just love to hear yourself talk crowd and stuff like that. Because honestly, any of us who are doing YouTube channels probably like to hear ourselves talk, I'd imagine. There's some sort of nar uh, uh, narcissism in there along the way um, at some point. But now let me take another quick look down here at a couple of these. Just because uh, they start getting in the distance, they really start getting etchy. Let's take a quick look at this one right here. Um, see if I can't pull that out a little bit more with the gamma and the color, the exposure. If you guys made this song, hopefully you made this song. I should have done this early in the beginning of the video because this is actually pretty cool right here. Let me get out my mouse and put the little trackpad aside. What do we have here? Whatever it is, this seems to really have been looks like mush together and it, it almost looks like a perfect demon face where you've got two eyeballs that glow a nose a mouth and a, a face side plate almost like a helmet of some sort the helmet would be consist of like a lattice around the front and the mouth you can still see your mouth up here where the head your forehead is it just kind of chops off like it'd be part of a statue um, and my theories on Mars, if you don't know, that there was a civilization here that most likely rocked. It was probably just as civilized, maybe even more uh, technology than us here on Earth, possibly. You know, why not? Um, they maybe were even traveling between two or three different systems. You know, maybe they were on both planets. But either way, something happened there. There was a catastrophe. Something just like maybe what the the flood here on Earth. Something came in, flooded this stuff up, tore this area. The Gale Crater is just looks nothing like a bunch of junk now. Um, and I can say it over and over again. Let's take a quick look. A couple of these right here. These interest me too. Also, how they've got that. Uh, Unless I'm looking at the exact same one again, which I don't think I am. Let me pull that gamma a little bit. It almost looks to, yeah, there, no, it doesn't. Let me make sure that wasn't that same area because that's pretty cool. No, it wasn't. See that down there? It's got another one that seems to be one of those uh, breasted plates around the front of something that almost looks like a head. Two eyeballs and nose. Oh, what do you guys think about that? That's pretty 
pretty cool. Let me get in really tight on that. If anything, that's a very interesting rocked artifact. Half this stuff does not... Once you get that, that first nasty tint color off of it, this stuff does not look like rocks anymore. Just that, that look goes away. And then you've got stuff like this, which you just look... This looks like some sort of dogs. Like a couple... Two big dogs just sitting out here relaxing. See him, they're just having fun. Hey, what's up, guy? One of the, one of the little white doggies. And then here's one of the gray ones. He's got his little tongue sticking out. <laughs> I'm just going. Like I said, I'm, I'm really stretched, grasping for straws there. But to me, that's what they look like. One more time. Let, let me do it with this one where I do the... Uh, when does Daughter Tone will work on it? A little bit. Um, Exposure. This is already going a lot further than I didn't want it to. I do this every time with these videos. They just keep going and going and going. There's always so much stuff on them. And once you start playing with the colors, you start seeing, oh man, this this that haze they stick over top of it really takes a lot of the picture away. I mean, it takes so much of the uh, the fineness of it out. Um, where did that go? Oh, there's the one. I just pulled that one out. Once again, you still got that kind of grady type face look to it. Um, there's the little dog looking guy whatever that is <laughs> it's pretty interesting um, more uh, colors in these pictures I'm not sure look at this right here this kind of looks like a little trapezoidal thing trapezoidal will be one two three four you see those sides to that let me see if I can't get that to pull out some this whole little area right here is interesting um, Brad, I got a subscriber Brad uh, enthusiast I think it's Australian enthusiast or something like that what do you think about that? He's in construction. What's this? Tell me, hit comment. Let me know what you look like this. What do you think that is down there? Um, a lot of it's stuff. I'm working on a couple of videos. I've still got... You guys have been sending me stuff. I'm still working on some of your videos. I've got so much saved up. Some of you guys have sent me such good stuff. I don't even know where to start. When I get something like this, I go look into the day, pull it up, and then all of a sudden I'm making a video on this when I started, started on something back then. But see, when I pull the gam up and start messing with the exposure and really start giving it some depth, what we're looking at, it just doesn't look like that nasty uh you know muddy looking feel to it you can start pulling stuff out of it you see different colors you know this gold sphere here you start seeing those trapezoid shapes not only are they d the shape there but they've got different colors different shading in them um too cool for school anyway i think i'm gonna wrap it up with this oh uh, you know what let me check these two i came out here for this when i first looked at them let me check these couple right here and uh, we'll call it quits on that one, guys. Like I said, this circle right there looks to be too perfect. Bam. And it's hard to get that circle to pop. I wonder if there's another way to do it that way. Deeper. See it come up as I go. I always love doing it like that. So you can see it rise as I go. Let me put that back down a little bit. Change the gamma just a tad. If you watch it drop. Watch it come back. And you've got this circle right here, and you've got this uh, anomaly right here, which seems to connect to something like it, how it sits here. It looks like a little piece of strata, um, or it has two things coming out. It actually looks like it's got two. Okay, it almost looks like it's something living or something that was, or something that's like uh, a machine. Check this out. It's got a perfectly rounded bowl. Like you flip the bowl over, and here would be two long, lanky legs, and the thing's just sitting on its face, like one of the minions or something. <laughs> it looks like a little minion um, that's been flipped over. But we need to paint him purple or, or, or yellow, and we'd be straight. So. Oh, here's with some of this up here. I lied. One more little section. I'm just going to do this whole little section right here and see if we can give it some depth because this right here has a lot of uh, symmetry to it and very interesting. Like I said, all these uh, curiosity photos. I shouldn't have let this one go this long. Oops. But I did it anyway and I always do it. And I can sit here and talk to you guys for hours. Um, what's today? Today is Saturday. It's my birthday weekend. It's really, it's, it's, it's rained here. Everybody's sick. Anna can't make it. She's sick. Her daughter's sick. Um, so it's one of those weekends. I'm just relaxing, making videos for you guys, chilling, enjoying the fact that I turned 33. I made it this far that I have an opportunity like this to even make videos that people will sit and watch for 14 minutes on something I want to make for a couple minutes. But look at this. It's got that perfect circle at the top and what looks to run like a, uh, some sort of it does look like a crown like I said earlier anyway much love guys you guys rock check out the other stuff here that looks it seems to look like a uh, some sort of head or something down there and when I say head head to like a something like a machine like an actual uh, a block you know that type of head it connects to an engine 
Anyway, much love, guys. What's up in the sky? 37. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit comment, like. I'll get you some more news. Curiosity Rover Weekly is going to be coming up soon. I've been working on the graphics for that. Now, just trying to figure out, I'm trying to get maybe one more person to come in with me to work on it and maybe do some filming. Um, anybody interested? Hit me up. Anybody interested in helping me out with the channels in general? Hit me up. I think we got a great opportunity here. Even if you're just posting stuff on your channel, and I'll start linking to yours. Um, if there's more of us working together, the better off we are. Much love, guys.